Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Having a good day? Hope so. Let's start our Bible lesson with the word of prayer, okay? Father, thank you for your goodness in each one of our kids today. Thank you for our big person. Pray that you'll give um, that big person a special blessing today for all their hard work. Please help the kids to learn to be a good part of the team that they're on and an encouragement to others. Lord, we ask that you might work in the government, that they might get us back to school really soon, and that the kids can get in the classroom. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, here we go. First verse, Ecclesiastes 9.10. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. Be a hard worker, right? Okay, hard workers all stand up. I need everybody to stand up. Okay. Stand up. Get your brains moving, right? Okay. Everybody. Okay, some well stand up. Okay. H, Exodus 20, 12. Honor thy father and thy mother. I, John 14, 14. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Okay, is everybody going to sing with me today? Yes, Miss Susan. Okay. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it, said Jesus. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it for you. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it for you. Okay, J, John 14, 6. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the way, said Jesus, I am the way, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the truth, I am the life, I am the light, said Jesus, I am the way, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the truth, I am the life, I am the light for you. Our verse for the month is on loyalty, Ecclesiastes 4, 9. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. Our verse for this week is found in Psalm 34, 13. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Let's do it two more times, please. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. One more time. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Okay, today, what I want to talk about is humility. 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 And we talked about this a little bit. Humildad, right? Humility. Um, we talked about this a little bit before, but if you're going to be on a team, this is the most... You have to be a hard worker, but you have to be humble, okay? And that's not always easy. For different reasons, okay? One, one, one part about humility is... You're going to think that you can do things better than other people. We all think that sometimes, okay? And maybe you can. And if you think that you can do something better than somebody else, you want to be the one to do it and because you want it done right because you want to win. But you know what? 
you can't always be the one to say how things happen. Okay. Usually a team has a leader, but not always. So you have to give other people a turn, right? Now, there are lots of different ways to do things. You might do it one way. Somebody else does it another way. Somebody else does another way. And that's one thing you're going to learn in math when you're a little bit bigger. In math, there are a lot of different ways to do the same math problem. One is not right or wrong. Well, there are wrong ways to do math, but they all work. Some are easier, some are harder. But you can do math problems and get the same answer doing it different ways. And it's the same way in life, okay? Everybody thinks differently. And especially boys and girls think differently. Men and women think differently. They look at things from what we call a different perspective. If I had a, a big elephant, we put an elephant in your living room, okay, big elephant. Now, we clo everybody close their eyes, and you don't know what that thing is. There's this, just this big thing in your living room, okay? And there are four people in there. Now, one person, okay, hey, why don't you close your eyes, okay? Close your eyes so you can concentrate, okay? okay. So we have, you're in, you're in your living room, and there's this big thing, you can smell it. You don't know what it is, but it doesn't smell very good, okay? And suppose you've never seen an elephant before, never seen a picture, never, never, okay? Don't know what that thing is. But you are at the front, okay? And you're blind and you're feeling, you find this big, long thing that moves, right? You might, and that's the only thing that you have. That's the only piece of this that you have. The trunk, the elephant, okay? You might think that this stinky thing is what? Maybe a snake. Because that's all you know, this wiggly thing that goes, right? Somebody else, somebody else might be on the side. And he, funny skin and didn't know what it is. But it's big. And it has, feels funny. They don't know what it is. And then what if somebody's in the back, just that tail? They don't know what that is either. Well, it's kind of like a snake, but it's hairy. And snakes don't have hair. What is it? But in being in the back, do you think it smells very good? Mm -mm. And maybe somebody's over on the other side, and they're with the ear. It's a big, floppy thing. They don't know what that is either. So everybody has a different idea of what they're looking at. They don't see the whole thing. And it's that way in life too. We all see things differently. And it's not that we're one person's right or one person's wrong. It's just we're looking at it from a different view. And so what we have to do is if somebody says, I think we should do it this way. And you say, oh no, that's wrong. I think we should do this. And somebody else says, no, I think we all have different ideas. And you might be right, you might be wrong. I don't know. But what do we have to do? We have to stop and think. Should we fight and say, no, you're wrong? No, what we have to do is say, hmm, tell me about it. What do you think? Why do you think that? And then you can say, hmm. That's interesting. Here's what I think. And you over there, what do you think? Let everybody, but should we say, oh no, that's stupid. No, what do we need to do? We need to try to understand like the people with that big elephant because there's different parts of that elephant and there are pieces that we're missing. See, if we have a lot of different people, now some people might get it wrong, might totally get it wrong, but other people will give us information that we need. And so what we need to do is ask, what do you think? Now, Mr. Matt 
Mr. Matt is very good at writing stories. Very, very good at writing stories. He is a great storyteller. And I like to write story. I like to write, and I do a lot of writing. I've written some books. But sometimes I, I there's a word I need, and I don't know what, what. And so what I'll do is I'll go to Mr. Matt. I'll say, Matt, I'm thinking of a word, but I don't know what the word is. What is the word that I need? What What's the word? I need this word, and I don't know what word I, I should be using. And he'll think. And usually he can tell me the word that I need. Now, sometimes he can't. He did that recently. And then about three minutes later, ah, oh, I've been thinking about this, trying to figure this out for hours. And about three minutes later, God told me, the word you want is synopsis. Yeah, that's a big word. You don't know what that means, and it's not important. But I went to Matt, and he didn't have it that time. But what do I do when I want to know a word? Or how would you explain this? I go ask him because he's really good. Now, do you know who taught Mr. Matt how to be a good writer? I did. When he was, I think, 15, we sat down, and we took about a month, and I taught him how to write. But now, So I taught him how to be a good writer. But now he's much, much, much better writer than I am. So when I need help, I go and ask him. Yep. Sometimes he'll ask me, say, Mom, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Mm -hmm. See, that's part of being on a team. We ask others what they think so that we can get to where we want to be. Because I want to be the best writer that I can. And Mr. Matt wants to be the best writer that he can be. And so we help each other. See, um, maybe two years ago, I told Mr. Matt, you need to start writing books for kids. Because you're a good writer. Now I can't do that. But he started thinking about it, and he wrote one story. And then I said, you need to write another one. No, I don't want to do that. But you're a good storyteller. And so he wrote another one. And now he's working on another one. See, we can help our friends, we can help our teammates be better at what they do, right? I could never write like he does. Mm -mm -mm. But he's really good. That's part of being on a team, listening to what others have to say. And if you don't think the same way, that's okay. Because that other person has information that you need. You don't know everything, right? So you listen very carefully and you don't argue. You don't tell the other people, that, oh, that's really dumb. <laughs> what were you thinking that? No. You just say, hmm, why don't you tell me what you think? And then we all get better at what we're doing. That's part of a team, right? Being a team. Our verse this week is keep thy lips from evil and thy keep thy lips from evil. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. With our friends, with our teammates, watch what you say. Everybody thinks differently. Be careful. What be very careful, because you can hurt somebody's feelings. Okay? Be careful and just say, what do you think? Don't have a proud attitude about it, that you know everything and they don't. No, be a good teammate and listen and learn and get things better. Let's say our verse three times, please. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Two more times. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. One more time. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. So your homework today is go listen. Go listen and go learn. See what other people think. Say, Mom, what do you think about? Okay, see you later tomorrow.